Hello, this is Buddy Amazing with an update March 2014 on installing a GoTek emulator into a KN5000. Things are more simple than I initially indicated in the video. You do not need to interfere with the jumper as indicated by the green arrow. Simply leave that alone. Only one loop is required and that is from pin 6 as indicated with the purple dot on the right to the ground pin on the left uh, through a normally closed momentary switch. So only one circuit is necessary through the loop. You will therefore only need, in most cases, a single pole switch. You will notice uh, the momentary switch is when the arm is up, it is generally the lower two contacts that need to be connected. If, however, you are using a dual pole plug uh, switch such as I do, just the two contacts on the lower side, on one side of the switch. Um, so let's quickly go through that again. Ensure that your momentary switch is wide so the contacts are normally closed. Note I use a dual pole switch. Uh, this means that rest your lip is closed and is momentarily open when you throw the switch. This will make life much simpler why pin 6 to the ground loop only through the momentary switch? This keeps pin 6 low, advising the keyboard there is a disk, or in our case, a level in the drive. This is the purple contact loop in the slide. Momentarily opening this loop tells the keyboard to read a new disk or level in our case. Do not loop the jumper pins as indicated by the green arrow or in the video through the switch uh, unless you have trouble with format questions. This loop simply tells the keyboard the device number of the drive or the emulator and should not need be involved. Leave the jumper sleeve in place as it is. It is most unlikely you will need to loop these. Thus a single pole momentary normally closed switch should suffice. The video should explain every other detail. It has just made life a little bit simpler.